Okay, here's my example. Let's see if we can solve this system of three linear equations with Desmos. Okay, so let's go to Desmos. All right, and we're gonna type S and okay. Let's go to the graphing calculator. <coughs> All right, first step. Let's type our three equations. What are our three equations? These ones right here, okay? So, let's type negative four. I'm just gonna use my keyboard here. Minus five y minus z equals 18, all right? You might notice that it's acting, it's prompting you to add a slider. And let's click on that. And now we have a line. We should get three lines and they should all intersect at a point. So, but you gotta click on the slider so that you can, for, um, so that we can see all three lines, okay? So now let's enter the second equation. All right, and let's equal the third equation. Negative 2x plus 5y plus 2z equals 4. Okay, now we have all three equations there. Now here's where a slider for z comes in. If I uh, drag the point for z, drag the value for z, it looks like I get all the lines to intersect at a single point there. Right there where z is equal to negative 2. So if I click on that point, I'll see what x is and what y is, and z we already know is negative 2. So what is my solution? My solution is what I call an ordered triple. So you got negative, you got negative 4 for x, you got 0 for y, and then you got a negative 2 for z. And so that is your solution to this system. These are the three values of x, y, and z that will make all three of these equations true.